Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're checking out possibly the most comfortable controller I have ever used, the ErgoBox. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, this extremely odd looking controller was sent to me for a fair and honest review. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Now the whole premise behind this controller or fight stick was to be ergonomic, hence the name ErgoBox. If you've ever seen a vertical mouse before or even an ergonomic keyboard, you might have an idea how this design was inspired. The ergo box is entirely 3D printed, including the two side pads for your hands. The plastic of the case is very sturdy, it doesn't feel cheap at all. The ergo box uses Sanwa buttons as the main buttons on this controller. On the right hand side we have all of your action buttons, so for example A, B, X, Y, L and R, and R1 and R2, or all of your punches and all of your kicks if you're playing fighting games. On the left hand side of this controller we have our directional buttons, and there's also a space for your pinky to sit. On the face of this controller we have two jump buttons on the far left and far right. We also have start select, we have our share button, our touchpad button, as well as L3 and R3. And on the back here we have our connector, which is fully detachable. On the bottom of this we have two rubber pads, one on the left and one on the right, that run the length of this fight stick, and they are very grippy. When the ergo box is placed down on a flat surface it doesn't really move around at all. On the bottom of the ergo box there's also some dip switches here. They do change up some things for you on the fly. They are incredibly handy and I'll go over them in just a minute. Now accessing the inside of the ergo box is simple and straightforward. It's just the latch that opens up. On the inside we can see a spot for the cable as well as all the buttons and PCBs. I was actually really impressed with the quality of the included cable. It's braided fabric and it's very thick. It does not feel cheap at all. On the inside of the lid here we can see Ergo Box Mark II and I'm guessing this is unit number 6. There's also a signature of the person who created it. On the left hand side on the inside of the box here I can see the main PCB which is a Brook PS3 PS4 board which means this stick is compatible with the PS3, PS4 and PC. The included Sanwa buttons here are screw-ins, they're not snap-ins. I did notice though that the secondary buttons on this controller, the menu buttons here like start and select, are snap-ins and they're not Sanwa buttons and they don't necessarily stick in very well. I was able to peel these out with just my fingernail and unfortunately every single one of these buttons was like that. On a side note here though it is pretty easy to access everything and if you wanted to change something up you absolutely can. So if you're not happy with those buttons, it's not a big deal to change them. Now admittedly here, using this was extremely weird. I am used to a hitbox, I use one quite frequently here, but getting used to the ergo box did take some time. I found that I had to think about things a little bit different when I was executing moves, and you can't really slide your hands around too well at all on here because you're not meant to. You're meant to keep everything fairly stable. One of the hardest things for me to get used to on the ergo box was trying to double tap buttons and then remembering where my hands went. So here's the ergo box in action. On the left hand side of the controller here we've got our left, down and right and we also have the big up button where your thumb goes. And on the right side of the controller we have all of our action buttons, our punch buttons and our kick buttons. Now on both the left and the right hand side of this controller where your thumb goes are your up buttons or jump in fighting games. Now something very interesting I noticed here. On the hitbox I like to use my left thumb to activate jump. On the ergo box, I prefer to use my right thumb, and I was accidentally hitting jump quite a bit with my left thumb. Disabling the button was as easy as just flipping that switch, and then the left hand side jump was disabled, and the right hand side jump still worked absolutely fine. And for those curious, here is a quick look at the ergo box in action. Doing some fireballs, doing some dragon punches here, everything worked absolutely fine. It did take a little bit to get used to here. You do have to work your brain a little bit differently because your hands are positioned differently. As for stability, using the ergo box on a table is very stable. Using it on your lap can be a bit of a mixed bag. If you sit with your legs far apart, it does teeter a little bit. If you sit with your legs closer together, it's very stable. For reference, here's the ergo box sitting directly on top of a Quamba Obsidian, which is a pretty wide stick. The flared base of the ergo box does help out with stability here, but the front of it is a little bit narrower. I've had the ergo box for a few weeks now and I've really put it through its paces. I've been using it as my primary fight stick and I've logged a ton of hours with it. I will say it's one of the most comfortable controllers that I have ever used. Mind you though, at the time of filming, and hopefully this doesn't change in the future, but I currently don't have any issues with my hands. I don't have carpal tunnel. 
I might not be the best person to evaluate whether or not something is ergonomically correct. However, though, I did have someone who has some pretty severe carpal tunnel to test the ergo box out, and that person was my wife. She is not a gamer, she doesn't normally use controllers, she's tested out my hitbox and it's not comfortable. She's tested out pretty much every single fight stick I have, and none of them have been comfortable for. She's tested out all of my controllers, none of which have been comfortable. In fact, this is her mouse. She uses a vertical mouse. She uses an ergonomically correct keyboard. When she tested out the ergo box, she loved it. Admittedly though, she had absolutely no idea how to use it, but she had fun using it and it didn't bother her hands at all. And I would take that as a big plus. So let's get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and whether or not I'd recommend the ergo box. And we'll start out here with what I didn't like. First and foremost, I don't like those six face buttons. The placement of them is absolutely fine. I just didn't like the buttons themselves. They're snap-ins that really don't snap in that well. I would have preferred them to use screw-in buttons. They would have held in a little bit better. And I would have also preferred them to use Sanwas. They are some knockoff brand and Yes, they're harder to press in, which is probably the intent, but at the same time, they feel cheap. Now, the second thing here, I kind of wish they went with a little bit more glue for the padding for your wrists. On uh, mine, it is peeling just a little bit. I don't think you can see it that well on the camera here, uh, but it's not necessarily glued down the best around the edges. It's a pretty easy fix just to add in some more glue. I just kind of wish they did that from factory. And the last thing here, this one is kind of a minor point, but the overall shape of this, if you're using it on your lap, is not the most ideal. If you're sitting with your legs close together, it's not an issue at all. If you sit with your legs far apart, then this becomes a little unstable to use. On a table, it's absolutely fine. Now going over what I like about the Ergo Box, and there's a ton to go over here. First and foremost, the shell on this does feel incredibly sturdy. It's all 3D printed plastic, but at the same time, it's put together very well, and it's very thick. It's also very easy to customize and mod. The bottom flap gives very easy access to the inside. If you wanted to change up the PCB, you absolutely can. If you wanted to change up the buttons, you can. If you wanted to remove the dip switch because you don't like it, you can. And speaking of the dip switch, I think it was a really welcome addition. You can change things on the fly, for example, changing a button if you don't like it. If you wanted to disable a button, you absolutely can. The included cable is great and it's very easy to store inside of the Ergo box. The built-in handle is incredibly convenient. And the biggest thing here is how ridiculously comfortable the Ergo Box is, and arguably the most important thing. It's very smartly laid out, the padding on the sides is very comfortable for your hands, and overall it's amazing to use. So now as to whether or not I'd recommend the Ergo Box, it's currently priced at $249. At this price point, I would say absolutely yes. If you're in the market for something that is maybe more ergonomically correct, maybe something a little less strenuous to use, if you have carpal tunnel and maybe you're battling some hand or wrist soreness when you're playing some games, the Ergo Box might definitely be something to check out. To me, the Ergo Box is a very innovative controller and you're not limited to just fighting games with it. If you wanted to play other games with it, you absolutely can, provided you don't need a joystick or anything. This is an amazing controller and given the price, it's a pretty darn good deal. While I can't guarantee that this will solve your problems if you have carpal tunnel or any sort of wrist or hand pain, I can say that spending a few extra bucks for a quality controller to potentially improve your health situation might be worth checking out. And on a side note here, if you're on the fence about spending 249 bucks on a vertical fight stick to potentially solve your issues, maybe spend 20 bucks on a vertical mouse and see if that actually helps. If you're happy with the vertical mouse and how it works, well, the Ergo Box works in a very similar fashion. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Huge shout out to the folks at Ergo Box for creating such an innovative controller and also for providing one for a fair and honest review. Let me know your thoughts about the Ergo Box in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.